Hello, I'm Alison and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Play Talk Read. I'm one of a team of play workers with Play Talk Read and usually we travel around Scotland on our buses inviting families on board for arts and crafts and messy play and song and story sessions. Now we're not able to do that at the moment so all of our activities are online and you can find us on our Facebook page at Play With PTR. It's our job to come up with simple, low cost activities wherever possible using things that you might already have at home. So I've got some examples here. So in this little basket, I've got a selection of the kind of things we use a lot. I've got bubble wrap, cardboard rolls, bottles, cupcake cases, tin foil, I think there's an egg carton in there, paper plates and some cardboard from a cereal packet. So the idea is that lots of the activities won't require things that you need to go out and buy. We do sometimes use arts and craft supplies and I've got a wee selection here. I would say the thing we use the most is probably glue uh, and all the other things are just extras. A lot of the activities you can colour in with pens or pencils or crayons and you've always got the option of gluing and sticking and adding extra things on. Okay, so that's a little bit about what we do. And today I thought it would be really nice to share a couple of activities with you, just to hopefully inspire you to go and visit our Facebook page afterwards. I've got a little poem to share with you. It's written in this book here and it's called there once was a puffin and I've also got my puffin here to come and listen to the story. There we are and our fish here which we're going to use after the story. So this is called There Once Was a Puffin and it was written a long time ago by a lady called Florence P. Jacques and this book's been illustrated by Patrick Kennedy. Oh, there once was a puffin, just the shape of a muffin. And he lived on an island in the bright blue sea. He ate little fishes that were most delicious. And he had them for supper and he had them for tea. But this poor little puffin, he couldn't play nothing for he hadn't anybody to play with at all. So he sat on his island and he cried for a while and he felt very lonely and he felt very small. Then along came the fishes and they said, if you wishes, you can have us for playmates instead of for tea. So now they play together in all sorts of weather and the puffin eats pancakes like you and like me. <laughs> so that's our little, our little poem for today, there once was a puffin and inspired by that I thought perhaps we could make some little fish together from a cardboard roll. So I've got some here, so either a kitchen roll tube or a toilet roll tube and I've got a little one I made earlier so this little craft involves a pair of scissors just to cut the shape and then some pens or some paint to colour your fish in. Okay let's get started. To make our little fish you can either start with just your plain cardboard roll like this or you could colour it in first. So I've got one here that I've coloured in red. So you can do it either way, whichever suits you. So if we start with the plain one, I'm going to start by squashing it down a bit and then I want to create the head part of the fish here like I've done with this one. And you could cut that into a sharp point or a nice rounded shape just depending how you want your fish to look. So I've got my scissors here 
and I'm just going to cut round into the kind of head shape that I want. Okay, like this. And then I need to create a tail shape. So to do that, like this one here, I'm going to make a small cut, just a sort of diagonal cut in towards this end of the cardboard tube and the same on the other side. So if you've got a little one and I'm using sharp scissors, this is probably the bit that you're going to be helping with just to be safe. And I'm just going to tuck these pieces away. Now, all I've done there is where I've cut, I'm just going to tuck it in just to create the tail shape. There we are. Okay, like so. Hopefully you can see that quite well. And then it's just up to you if you haven't decorated your fish uh, to decorate it any way you like with your pens or your pencils or your paints. And you could maybe hang them up or if you like, you could stick them onto a stick. Now, these ones are different. I've just cut these out of card. But if you imagine with my lollipop stick, you could just stick that onto there and have your own little fish puppet. Now these fish are here for a song that I thought we could finish off with today. And it's a good song for counting and it's a good song for recognising your colours. And this little song is about one little red fish, two little blue fish and one, two, three little yellow fish. Hopefully you'll join in with me once you see where the song is going. Are we ready? One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two, three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> That's our little song for today. So you've seen one of our stories, our songs, a little craft activity, and I really hope it's inspired you to go and join us um, at Play With PTR. We've got lots of activities there. Uh, join in, comment on anything you like, send us your pictures and we really look forward to seeing you there soon. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.